Hey, welcome to another episode of beersandbars.com. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We're actually going to do a beer review. I know I've been doing a little bit of reviews of hotel rooms, uh, men's products, uh, this and that, whenever I get an opportunity, even some survival products or outdoor products, camping and stuff like that. You know, just like to put, throw my hat into a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But uh, it always comes back to my true love of, uh, of beer. And I actually also want to share uh, a book that I recently actually listened to on Audible. And uh, it's a book called A Short Course in Beer by Lynn Hoffman. Now, what I really liked about this book here, I mean, if you have a chance, I would go ahead and pick it up or get it on Audible or actually pick up the, the book, which I did order, uh, just because it, it comes with a lot of uh, information in it that you know just useful I really I really enjoyed about the um, about the book is that there really wasn't any uh, bashing of the major breweries it was basically straightforward um, went back to the history of it uh, dispelled a lot of different myths um, was pretty much up to date um, and it was just it was interesting because it like I said it didn't bad mouth anybody it talked straight up about uh, the different breweries um, Anheuser Busch now InBev um, but it was interesting it was a good uh, good listen and I'm really looking forward to getting the beer because it had a lot of additional information um, that um, I just enjoyed and one thing that I really got from um, the book was when um, he mentioned basically you know just he was talking about well when you when you talk to somebody who doesn't like beer and you they taste the beer and you and you ask them well what, what does beer taste like and they come out with what well, tastes like beer well what what exactly are you saying what what does beer taste like and um, what I came away from that is what does the beer taste like what what does it taste like to me or to you um, I'm you know, I'm never going to match up to uh, a brewer or a Cicerone or, or anything like that. I'm just a regular dude who, you know, just enjoys beer. And But what I want to do is, you know, instead of trying to be technical and tell you about this and that, just keep it simple. What do I taste? What does it remind me of? It doesn't matter if it's, you know, this one smells like banana or grapefruit or because that's what the brewer the brewer wants wants you to taste you know that that's the combination that they put together to come out with that taste so there's no point of me trying to mimic the brewer who if you want to hear somebody talk about you know a professional then you'd listen to the brewer why are you gonna listen to me but if you want somebody to tell you in straight English what you taste, what you you should expect, then you know listen to me. Come to beersandbars.com and I'll tell you um, what I taste. And just keep it simple, you know. And so, on that note, what I'm gonna be talking about today is new build, new Belgium Day Blazer Easy Going Ale. Now this one has a basic ABV of let's see, has a basic ABV of four point eight, so it's basically low in alcohol. And this one I picked up in Target. It was a fifteen pack for sixteen ninety nine, and um, it's been there for I've seen it in Target for a while, and I just never, uh, you know, picked it up. But I was coming. We're in Morango here in El, uh, Southern California. It's um, a casino right by Palm Springs. And um, one of the worst things you could ever do is run out of beer and then have to go downstairs and buy one beer for, you know, five bucks when you could buy a 15 pack for about 17. And it's New Belgium, so you know, at least you expect uh, good beer from them. So, uh, Another thing I did pick up also at the Dollar Tree is a nice tulip cup. 
it feels uh, fairly good here. So let's get into it, right? And lately I've been, you know, liking the, just the, the cans, the feel of it. Although occasionally, you know, you do want a bottle, but I don't know, it's something about cans. So let's go ahead. All right, first thing you notice is it has a decent uh, pour. It's, um, it's basically clear. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's basically clear, little, little bit of cloudy, uh, very little carbonation. And the aroma that came to me was uh, like a flowery aroma, but also a malty. If I would say it's sweet, it's malty, but extremely smooth. Very little aftertaste, if, if any. Uh, I did mention that it, it has a little bit of carbonation, but very, very little. So, go like I said, it goes down smooth. Um, it is sweet, but not over overbearing. Um, not too sweet, like a like an amber or um, anything that has uh, honey. Um, amber ales or anything that involves honey always seems like it's a little bit heavy to me. But this one is uh, extremely, extremely smooth and light. But it's also, uh, it's, uh, it's tasty, has, has, um, has flavor to it. Um, but I think it's, I mean, I think it's it's put together very well. It is called easy going ale, which I think this is extremely easy going. Great for a nice summer day that's coming up. Um, you know, I I would, you know, it, the lower ABV. I mean, it's 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 on the cusp of the five five per uh, ABV, but it's four point eight. So this summer you could drink a few. Maybe not a 15 pack, but it's something you could drink a few of and still be somewhat good. Yeah, it's it's a very good beer. So if you come across it like I did at Target <clears throat> or anywhere else, I would definitely pick it up. Um, I I checked in on. Um, untapped under beers and bars and i gave this a three uh three point seven five not up there with the fours but definitely uh better than the typical lager or the uh, big brands which i usually about 2.75 or three on untapped but this one's definitely up there and something i would definitely pick up again all right guys well that was my quick review of New Belgium Day Blazer Easy Going Ale. So if you find it in your uh, beer aisle and you haven't tried it, I would definitely pick it up. All right, guys. Well, I do do beer reviews, and this was one. Um, hit me up on Untapped under Beers and Bars. Uh, follow me on Instagram where I post a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't done so already, have a great beer. Thank you.